Hello Gemini, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I am here today to do your reading for April 2021. This is a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm going to just call in the angels real quick since your cards came out really quick. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me deliver messages to my Gemini friends. Okay, so this is a love reading, but look what we got on the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck doesn't always resonate with the reading, but I like to look at it. So you maybe have a love interest at work. Who knows? Let's see what we got. We have fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully it's love, vase, secret admirer, interesting, pig, beware of greed, either Aries or Taurus got that card. I think it was Taurus. Okay, so let's get some tarot out. I like to just get them out and get the overall energy for the reading. Um... Someone maybe really likes you and maybe you're not interested with the strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Show me messages for Gemini, please. I am reading reversals today, guys. Show me in a love reading. You kind of got to do it because I need to know <laughs> if this is good stuff or not. All right. Show me Gemini, please, for love. April 2021. What do my Gemini friends need to know? Show me Gemini. All right, your cards are coming out slow, which tells me these ones are anyway. Those came out really quick, which tells me that you're either not speaking to some someone or something could be a very slow process. All right, it looks like they're moving a little bit quicker now. Show me Gemini. Looks like you got some type of opportunity here. Very quick movement as well. Show me five of cups in your role or attitude. You're sad, sad over something you don't have, they just said, or didn't get. Show me Gemini, please. Show me Gemini. Oh, see, somebody likes you. Show me more for Gemini. Wow, the sun, huh? I mean, overall, this reading looks really good. Healing, too. Three of Swords. All right. Knight of Pentacles. Something's moving very slow. Okay. Could be an offer. Let's let me straighten just a little bit. I can't focus if my cards aren't straight, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's a Gemini Virgo thing, so you probably have the same problem. Mostly a Virgo thing. All right, can you see all of that? I'm just going to move the camera a little bit for you. There, that's better. Under the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands is reversed as well, which is nice. It looks like there's compromise here. There's healing. There's happiness. What's with this? All right. So I do feel like you were sad, disappointed, crying over these spilt cups here. There was something here that you really wanted with the star card reversed and the nine of cups being in the challenge position. These are both wish cards. I feel like you didn't get what you wanted. But... With this, and the Seven of Cups in reverse here tells me that there was options. I feel like, Gemini, I feel like you were not chosen for something. 
You could have been with someone who was a player, seeing multiple people, someone who even returned to their ex possibly, because there was options here and you were disappointed you didn't get what you wanted. And you're having a hard time healing from whatever this was that happened. But that was only because the universe had a better plan for you. Sometimes we have this strong passion for something and we want it really, really bad. And then we don't get it. And then we're really, really sad. But I mean, look what's happening for you. Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Eight of Wands. This is also my Ain't No Stopping Me Now. Arrows of Love find their mark. I'm also getting a very strong vacation home here. If you put in an offer on a home, that, or a home that was at a distance, or a home that was in a warm place, and you got denied for the bank loan, or someone else made a better offer there's some form of rejection here but this rejection forced you where you were supposed to be i want to point out also that this could be someone's child because the sun card represents children to me the fool card could absolutely be a child i i actually call the fool the fool card how i remember it i have like these little remember remembering things for each card and I always say that's my kid going off to college you don't know what to expect you don't know how something's going to turn out but you're just going to jump off of that cliff because this is an opportunity that you don't want to miss now someone's child could actually be getting engaged moving into a new home moving a distance from you and you're sad because the child is leaving but whatever this is, the Three of Swords in the reverse at the end, I mean, we're going to pull more cards because this can represent an apology from the person in the past who realized that they made a bad decision and now they want to be with you. So they want to apologize because they secretly admire you and they realize that you make them happy. The Five of Wands in reverse is also my card of let's compromise, let's work together, let's talk about this. Six of Swords too. Someone's moving away here. There could literally be a kid that is going off to college. The Beware of Greed makes me feel like someone is holding on to someone here doesn't want to see someone move forward, doesn't want to see someone be happy. But this three of swords as your final outcome is healing from whatever this was over here that made you unhappy or made you disappointed. It's like you're getting over something because something better has come along with the full card. And this is beautiful, this outcome. This is what's coming up and this is your final outcome. Um, let's get, we'll start off with the situation stick. Let me see, additional messages for Gemini, please. Show me, I feel like you have, you possibly hate, I hate to use that word actually, but I feel like you hate someone for what they did or you're very angry with someone for what they did. These two, let's take these two. Drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos, retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. You're getting revenge for something that someone did to you. Show me one more. You're going to be so happy that you missed some type of opportunity here because there's clearly something better here. Show me Gemini, please. One more card for Gemini. Intervention, rescue others involved. You're being rescued by the universe. This is a blessing, an opportunity. Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Somebody's buying a vacation home here. I feel like you put an offer in on a home and there was competition or you were beat out by the competition and you didn't get what you wanted. But then something better came along that was really exciting. 
And that's like your revenge. That's like your justice. That is your healing. And now if this person from the past comes back and wants to apologize or realizes that they now want to be with you, you're going to be like, no, I'm with someone else. This is something new. Ace of Pentacles in the Fool card is clearly something new. I also have someone here who may be studying astrology or tarot. These are my two. This one has the astrological wheel here and the planets. And then this one also has the astrological wheel. There's only three cards in this deck that have that. The other one is the wheel of fortune. You may have some type of opportunity here to learn and study astrology or tarot or something to do with the zodiac signs. There was some type of drama queen here that caused chaos. I feel like this is the person that you dislike. We're not going to use the word hate. <laughs> ah, there's the rage ready to explode. You're very angry with someone, but I kind of get this feeling like you were backstabbed, betrayed. There was some type of competition, something happened, and then you were forced to move on and you were sad and you were disappointed. But now it's like you're dancing in the sun. You're like, hi, oh, look at me. I'm so happy. This is something better. Um, I'm so glad that I didn't get what I wanted. I'm healing from that now. That's your revenge. I feel like the universe is coming to your rescue. Let me get some more for Gemini, please. Additional messages for Gemini. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. That's the separation here. Show me more for Gemini. Even if you were in a long-term relationship and you were sad that it was over or it didn't work out or it failed or someone may have even cheated here with another person because someone else was chosen. Show me more for Gemini. We're not going to take all of those. Stay optimistic. Someone else is offering you something. There's those children. I feel like children are very significant in this reading. Show me one more. Show me one more for Gemini. There's children involved in some way worth waiting for. I mean, there's like justice all over this reading. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So someone from your past may actually be returning. Someone that you were separated from because they stabbed you in the back. This person may have separated from you and you were sad. They may have chosen someone else and then they realized that they made a big mistake. But children is also my card of something new. There's very clearly something new here. I don't feel like it's the past. Let's get you a couple of Island Time Wellness cards. Angels. They're showing me red hair. Red hair. I have a red-headed child. Red hair. That's very rare. Show me Gemini, please. Show me additional messages for Gemini. All right, I'm not going to take all of those. Not showing true feelings, hide, personified, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Show me more for Gemini, please. There we go. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting coming out again. Perception focusing out. Show me more for Gemini. Somebody's jealous here. There's a person who's watching you dance in the sunlight and be like really happy relationship evolving and moving to the next level. Something's moving to the next level here. Healing the inner child and growth. One more. Somebody may be jealous and they're, see that whatever this was, it was, even though you were sad, it's worth waiting for. Someone may see that you're very happy and they're jealous. That could also be a secret admirer. And now they're going to try and throw some type of monkey wrench into your plans. I use, I've been using that word a lot lately. <laughs> With some type of apology. And then you're going to have a choice to make between the two. But I feel like you're going with the new. 
I feel like you're going to forgive this person from the past, but I don't feel like you're going to take them back. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. That's also the Eight of Wands. Talking with someone on the internet here. You may have met someone online on an online dating site. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided one relationship, love bombing is coming up. Somebody's not being genuine here. I feel like someone is angry. Yeah. Someone's now going to confess something. They're chasing you because they're angry or jealous that you're happy. Very interesting, Gemini. Watch out for this person. I feel like it's a woman. Somebody's going to pour it on thick. I'm also getting, I, I doubt that this is going to resonate with a lot of you, but if there is a child that you are separated from because this child wouldn't grow up, let's just say, I feel like someone's getting on the right path here. Because I feel like someone wants to come home. A child wants to come home. Or someone wants to have a reconciliation here. Alright. So watch out for this person. Um, see. When there's something that's really new. Like the full card and the ace of pentacles. Once again I go back to. Jumping off of the cliff. And I don't know how something's going to turn out. That's the only reason that you're going to think about going back to the past. Because you don't know how this new relationship is going to turn out. But I feel like they're telling you to give this new relationship a chance. And most likely not return to the past. Show me. The full card is also going on an adventure. You're going on some type of adventure and you're free. The sun card and the full card are freedom. You're free from the shackles of the past. And you're moving forward with a new person. Seven of Cups. Your angels are asking you to make a decision, see, that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't hurt someone. Ask Kevin for guidance and make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Yeah, th that's why this reading was, I'm going to say, like all over the place. Because there is someone that hurt you and you moved on from this person and you started something new. And now this person's watching you from the past and they see that you're happy and now they want to come back. And they're going to try and blow you up with a bunch of gaslighting and love bombing because this person is a narcissist. And they're going to try and get you to come back to them. And you're going to think about doing it because this new thing is so new that you're not sure how it's going to turn out. So you're saying, well, it might be just easier to just return to the past because what if this relationship that I'm in fails? Show me one more advice message for Gemini, please. One more advice message from Gem for Gemini. Knight of Pentacles again. You have a lot to do. It's important you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. <laughs> this could be you. On the bottom of the deck we have... Page of Cups. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. See, there's something so new here. You may receive a message expressing feelings you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle, loving, with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. There's a third party here. A third party who does not want to see you move forward and be happy with someone else. Although they hurt you in the past and that's okay. Someone's watching you on social media. Watch what you post. You're going to get a message from this person. 
I'm so sorry I hurt you and I want to get back together. Let's do it for the sake of the children. And you're going to go, no, I forgive you, but I'm going to move forward with this new thing. At least that seems to be what your decision is. I like that the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands are in the upright position because I feel like you're moving away from, see the Six of Swords is moving away from a Five of Swords type of energy, a hostile person, someone who fights with you all the time, someone who's a drama queen, someone who doesn't want to listen to what you have to say. And you're have a, you seem like you're having a hard time making this decision. Show me the final message for Gemini, please. Be careful of, you got gaslighting twice and you got love bombing over here. So be careful of someone who's not being genuine in Gemini. Show me the final message for Gemini, please. You got like a con artist or a scammer or something here. Because something that you're moving into has a lot of potential. I keep hearing road to success, road to success. Transformation. In re that was funny because that was on the bottom of the deck when I picked it up. On the bottom. See, status quo is everything staying the same. If you don't make changes... Hmm. This person hasn't changed. This person from your past has not changed. Now, this could also be a career for someone. You may have moved on to another job. I only say that because the career thing came up. But you may have moved on to another job. And you're really happy. And you're successful. And you might even be getting a promotion. And this old boss or this person from your past is going to come back and they're going to be like, hey, come over here. We miss you because they realize that you were the best thing that they ever had. That's what's happening here. But someone's only doing it out of jealousy and greed. All right. So transformation in reverse still tells me once again, I feel like you're having a hard time making this decision to move forward and let something go. It seems to be very difficult. I don't know if I should let this person go. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Let's get, all right, so it came out in reverse. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it, but I am going to see, and this is also crossing the bridge into your new life. I'm going to read the reversed um, message. This card reversed reveals a strong resistance taking place. Your energy is stuck and you can't seem to move forward, but don't give up. The blockages will fall away when you finally choose to transform from within. Take a look at the patterns in your life. Once again, status quo, these are patterns to see how you are sabotaging yourself. For example, you may be stuck in ongoing behaviors of self-indulgence or patterns, patterns of inactivity, worry, or over-analysis. That's a Gemini thing. <laughs> if so, it's time to turn away from those habits of the past and make changes that your spirit longs for. Set your intention to transform the negative energy you've been living with for so long. Learn to love and encourage yourself. Speak your truth and choose courage and trust over fear and doubt. These may seem like daunting tasks, but it's time to tackle the things that have been holding you back. The future may be a mystery once again, but like the woman holding the scroll, you hold the truth of your eternal soul. When you turn to the power and wisdom from within, you will be able to face a fabulous future unafraid. But that's what you're afraid of. The future is a mystery. You're like Grim, Grim Reaper. Relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. You are going to have a hard time telling someone no, that you do not want a reconciliation and moving on with the new person. Now, if you have a person from your past getting back, uh, trying to get back with you, I feel like they're encouraging you to not do it because there's something better coming that is going to allow you to heal. There's definitely a new direction here. But with that said, I am going to leave that there, Gemini. I do hope I was able to help someone with this message today. 
take the risk, take the leap of faith, and go in the new direction because a much better future awaits you. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I will see you soon.